having a fantastic time here in Atlanta. The last couple days, we've tried some of the more famous places to eat in Atlanta. And maybe splurged a bit too much on food yesterday. So today, we're gonna see, eat, and do everything we can for $20. Are you ready? As SpongeBob SquarePants would say, I'm ready. I'm ready too. Are you ready? Here's your $20. Here's my $20. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into today with just 20 bucks each. All the shenanigans. We're kicking off our day here in Piedmont Park. It's about a mile east of downtown and with close to 200 acres of land, this is a huge park that offers miles of paths, great places to picnic, a beautiful lake, and multiple sports fields. Sports fields? Is that a thing? Yes, because you need a place for all your general sports activities. This has got to be one of the most beautiful views of the Atlanta skyline. Right outside of Piedmont Park is the Atlanta Beltline. This set of trails is 33 miles long and paved on top of a former railroad line. Today we're gonna to explore the east side of the trail. Atlanta has a lot of cool murals and really beautiful street art. And taking a walk on the Beltline is a great way to check it out. Oh, I love that you can still catch a glimpse of the skyline here, too. The sun has come out, and it's not quite as cool as it was in Piedmont Park. I'm getting ready for some refreshments. Which is good, since our next stop is that building right there. Right off the Atlanta Beltline, Pond City Market is a huge complex that offers a bunch of different food, shopping, and activities. It's located in a historic Sears and Roebuck building that was built in the 20s. Pond City Market is one of the top places to visit in Atlanta. And today, we're gonna grab a few bites to eat from the Central Food Hall. There are a bunch of amazing sounding places within the food hall that feature not just Southern staples, but foods from all around the world. Dogs are not allowed inside the food hall, so I'm just gonna grab a few bites and bring them out to Jeremy and the pup. A pastry sounds good. I think I'm gonna stop here at the St. German Bakery. That place smells really good, but there's this place that looks really interesting that has uh, South African food, and I've never had South African food, so I think we're gonna try it. Oh no, it's closed. I had my heart set on some biltong. I initially wanted to try a different coffee shop I heard about here, but I was just so drawn to Spiller Park Coffee that I have to try something here. There's also an awesome looking rooftop here. The roof at Pond City Market not only offers amazing views of the city, but it has its own food, drinks, and fun and even a mini golf course. The cost just to get up to the roof is $10, and then all the extra other activities are additional fees. That is not in our budget today, but it is dog friendly, so hopefully we can make it out here next time. Pond City Market is so neat, but my heart feels so bad, feels so heavy for the businesses in their uh, food hall because I mean, given the circumstances, it's just not as happening as it probably once was. And unfortunate news for you, Jeremy, the Biltong bar was closed. So all I got was a pastry. And uh, I also got myself a coffee because we were talking about going to this place called Dancing Goat that's around the corner that's supposed to be really good. But this place just spoke to me. I felt like I felt bad because they're, you know, like the businesses in there can obviously, like it's pretty deserted in there. So I got myself a latte there. You want to do the pastry honors? That's a cheese Danish from the St. German Bakery. Yeah, that's a nice pastry. Got like the cream cheese kind of filling and the glaze is almost like citrusy or something. Oh. But yeah, that's pretty good. Mmm. Yeah, that croissant is like kind of dense, but also fluffy at the same time. Mmm, moist, yum. There is a little citrus kick at the end there. 
That is quite tasty. Do you think that's gonna hold you over till uh, our, our big dinner plans? We'll see. <laughs> that was a delightful latte. Just what I needed before we go back on the belt line, backtrack to our car, and hit our next stop. Now technically, we could walk the belt line to Little Five Points, but I think for me, I would just rather go get the car and drive it over there. We walked by these on the way here, and I didn't even realize these are the Ford factory lofts. I've heard of those. They're an old Ford factory that's been converted into an apartment building. Super cool sounding, and now seeing it in person, even cooler looking. Didn't know it was there. <laughs> if I did live in Atlanta, I'd want to live here. You know, in an old Ford factory. <laughs> They're really cool though. Look how tall those like floor to ceiling windows. They look lovely. Little Five Points is known for being a more alternative neighborhood, and there are plenty of cool local businesses to check out. There are multiple record stores, coffee shops, restaurants, thrift shops, whatever this is, and a slew of other hip and exciting places. Little Five Points is an area we wanted to check out the last couple times we've been to Atlanta, but today we're actually here and doing it. There are usually street artists out here, but I'm, I'm listening to some conversations. It sounds like an officer came through here and uh, shut everything down, so we might not to get to get to see any of the uh, the cool little handy crafty art and uh, things that are normally offered on this street. I think that that is such a cool Billie Holiday painting. Do you love Billie Holiday? I love him. <laughs> uh, do you remember that? Uh, yeah. Jeremy just went into Criminal Records which happens to be a filming location from Baby Driver. It's the, the record store that he goes to. I don't think it's in our budget to walk out with any records today, which is probably a good thing because uh, this place is supposed to be pretty cool. Jeremy might still not come out empty handed, we'll see. Oh, so someone did spend some money. We're not gonna count this in the $20. <laughs> oh, we're not? <laughs> I did buy a couple of seven inches. If you want to see us eat here at the Vortex, you'll have to watch our food tour video of Atlanta. This place has been compared to Haight-Ashbury in San Francisco, but I'm definitely feeling like home in Portland right now. It's got that quirky Portland vibe to it. I like it. Little Five Points is definitely a neat area of Atlanta to check out, but if you come to Atlanta, one place you definitely need to see is the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Park. Martin Luther King Jr. was born and raised in Atlanta, and much of the neighborhood he spent most of his life in is preserved in a National Historic Site. There are several places worth checking out. Unfortunately, many of the buildings are closed right now, but you can still walk around, see quite a few of the places that were significant in his life, and even visit his tomb here. They don't let you take video of um, the tombs or the fountain area, but man, it is just really powerful to be here and see it. I'm so glad we came here. I just wish that more things were open so we could go see the insides of things. You know, it would have been nice to see inside the King Center and tour his birth home, but I guess that just means there's always a next time. Hopefully it'll be open next time. Originally named the Yellow Jacket, the Varsity got its start in Atlanta in 1928. Although the building has moved from its original location, it now occupies two city blocks just east of I-85. There are now six other locations in the area, but we're sticking with this one, the iconic one. And we're gonna be going through the drive-thru. Uh, I guess the, the car hop style they normally have, I don't know, I, I guess because of just right now, it's a drive-thru, so drive-thru it is. I got a basic cheeseburger. Looks pretty good, pretty simple. Got some meat, some cheese, and a bun. 
There's some ketchup and mustard if you'd like them. Don't need that. <laughs> All right. I got a, a chili cheese dog and a chili cheese burger that we can both try. Mm. Pretty tasty little burger. I like that. I mean, it's a pretty simple chili cheese dog, but it's pretty good. You want a bite of that? I'm trying to figure out what it reminds me of. Dairy Queen, maybe? I don't know. Why would they put mustard on it? That's what they do. A chili cheese dog with mustard. Mm -mm, don't like no. that. <laughs> That's a no for me. It's a pretty simple burger, but I enjoy it. We also got a goodie box of uh, some onion rings and uh, a peach pie. Now, I don't know. Those onion These rings look pretty onion awesome. Onion rings look like they're gonna be pretty, pretty dang good. Like they got that nice, like kind of like beer battery coating where they're kind of thin. And it looks clearly like they make them here and they're not frozen. Hmm. Yep. I'll go there. As far as a fast food onion ring, this is probably the best fast food onion ring. The highlight, the highlight for me so far. <laughs> Um, also, apparently, their their pies, their pies are supposed to be top notch. So, for like a couple bucks, I got myself a pie for dessert. That was a lot of uh, crunchy, crusty part. Oh my goodness! Hot. Mmm. <laughs> There's not a lot of filling. You can see like a big hole of pocket. But it's like it's like a like if hostess pie were freshly made. Okay. So I would say it's a pretty dang good pie. You wanna try it? Wanna give it a whirl? It's flaky. Buttery or short, I don't know. I don't know if it's butter or like shortening, but... It's, it's got that good, like, flaky buttery mm -hmm. flavor, though. But it's good, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that they have, like, a famous orange cream soda, but I think Jeremy got the, the, the milkshake the version. version. which I didn't realize I was getting. I thought <laughs> I was getting the soda, but it's fine. Oh, yeah. That's like a creamsicle. Oh, it's weird. You can see it. It's like... <laughs> It's like a kind of ch chunky. It's almost like, it's like, it looks like a mixture between an icy and an actual milkshake. Oh, but it tastes like a milkshake. It tastes like mm. a creamsicle. It's good. It does taste like a creamsicle. Yeah, that's, that's pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. All right, the varsity, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. <laughs> and you know, we spent 1942 but we got a pretty good amount of food. And we didn't spend as much as we thought we were going to at Ponce, so. Yeah, that's true. But we did spend a little bit more than we thought we were going to at a little record store called Criminal Records in Little Five Points. All right, all right. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that was like, all in all, we've had such a fun day, but there's one last thing, free thing, that we gotta do when we're in Atlanta. And that's hang out with our friends. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jeremy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you.